Hello and welcome to the second episode of Fallout Real Estate. Today we're going to be talking about the Red Rocket truck stop. Red Rocket is placed on this flat concrete slab in some otherwise hilly terrain that slopes down into Concord, and it's located just south of Sanctuary. It's so close that you could, I'm pretty sure you can actually see it from Sanctuary. One of the things I don't really like about this settlement is that the building takes up a lot of the space that you're allowed to build things in, and there are a lot of unbreakable objects that you can't scrap, like these, uh, I don't know, gas pumps, I'm assuming. But yeah, you can't get rid of those, and they really clutter up the place. They're not aesthetic, and it makes building a bit of a hassle, because you have to build around things like that. There's a good amount of resources here. There's a lot of tire piles that you can scrap for rubber and some guardrails that'll get you a lot of steel. But there are no bodies of water to set up water filtration devices. So, but if you there's plenty of dirt that you can stab in some water pumps into the ground and uh, places to plant food, so you'll be fine in that regard. It's pretty easy to actually get this settlement because all you have to do is literally just walk in and activate the workstation. This place actually offers some pretty nice natural defenses. You can always hold up inside the truck stop itself and there's this really big window that covers one side of it that kind of turns the entire northeast side into a shooting gallery for you. And it gives you pretty good cover as well. There's also this oddly bulletproof shrub over here. But as for what you can actually do, I like to just line the entire roof with turrets and just let them do the work for me because it'll do the job pretty well. The big thing for me about Red Rocket is that it feels more like a player home than an actual settlement for settlers to come and settle down. I think a large part of that is because it's right next to Sanctuary, which is an otherwise very big settlement, and then you're given this little dinky place that really is only big enough for you and the dog that you get when you arrive. So all in all, I'd give this place a 5 out of 10. It's not insultingly bad, but it's certainly not something that I've ever put a lot of effort into in any of my playthroughs. I always get started doing something at, at Red Rocket, and then I think, you know what? Sanctuary is right over there. It's bigger, and I think that's a major detractor from the value of Red Rocket, is that it's so close to Sanctuary, and it just kind of feels useless as an actual settlement. I mean, sure, you can use it as a player home, but, I mean, you can do that with any settlement. In fact, you kind of prefer to do it with other settlements because they actually have enough space for you to build things. And you can, like, oversee your little township. So, yeah, 5 out of 10. Thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.